Leo, my loves, welcome, welcome back to my channel and to any new viewers, welcome. I'm Simone the Moon Goddess. Leo, as always, y'all listen, no matter what video I post for Leo, y'all always have the highest views, the most comments, y'all always show me love. And you know what's funny, what's interesting is that recently I was really looking into my sidereal chart. For those of you who follow astrology, like Vedic astrology, um, sidereal. And I'm a Leo. I'm a Leo. I, ha I actually have a, a massive Leo stallion. So maybe that's why I really connect with y'all's energy. Um, I remember last time I did readings for y'all, one of the messages had to do with the gut, healing the gut. Um, potential stomach issues or however that was resonating and I hope that y'all have been able to heal that or or make steps towards for some of you because some of you express that you were having issues with your stomach um, digestion so I hope that you've been able to heal that or work on healing it or there's light at the end of the tunnel for you all right so oh, Leo, let's get into your reading. I'm excited to do this. I know it's been a while, I've been missing, um, but I really needed to unplug. I really needed to unplug. All right, so I call upon the Most High. I call upon my spirit guides to assist me in these readings. As always, only divine highest order messages that they need to know. Nothing more than what they need to know for their highest. May all messages be for the highest good of all involved with harm to none. Ashe, amen, so it is. Okay, let's start. What's the messages for Leo? So that is gonna have three cards for Leo, sun, moon, and rising. And Leo, if you are divinely guided to connect with me for a personal reading my details are down below you can also check my patreon because that's a, a beautiful way um, if you to support my channel if you feel inclined and, and drop comments comments help okay comments help hitting that like button helps build my channel as well and to grow this community all right so when I before I started getting your cards out and I was shuffling, I was talking to you and just before I started to get your cards out, the card at the bottom of the deck was the Ten of Cups. I was going to mention it and I didn't bother. But it came out anyways. After I was um, asking you guys or saying to you that I hope that your stomach issues, for those of you who had issues, when I was finished saying all of that and I looked at the bottom, the Ten of Cups was at the bottom and it made me smile because I felt as if, okay, so there's some healing happening and it came out again. All right, so your first card is the Five of Wands. Okay, this showed up for Taurus as well. Um, different position, but this card came out. Like I said, you have the Ten of Cups and you have the Hangman. Okay, five of wands, ten of cups, and the hangman. So I feel like, so you're questioning somebody. You're questioning a situation. Maybe questioning whether or not it's, it's, it's worth the effort of, speak, of, of having some kind of, it, it, it's not necessarily uh, an argument. It might be a sense of a debate or a, a difference in opinion, or maybe you feel as if somebody's not who they say they are, or you feel like there's a bit of pretense with somebody or something. And I feel like you're sitting there contemplating, okay, so I can have, so should I, should, should I stay here when I really want this? Will this lead me to this? All right, so it's like you're thinking, will, will this situation eventually lead me here? Does this connect to this? That's how I'm feeling it is. And here you are, right? So there's this deep contemplation. 
social media comes to mind like i was i said to taurus clean up your social media clean up your timeline clean off your phone all right because i feel there's lots of eyes here there's lots of eyes on you you got the king of wands here so this is you taurus sorry leo my loves leo sorry this is you actually the five of wands is also your energy this is also leo's card There's a holding back. Why is that? Why are y'all holding back? You got the six of pentacles at the bottom right now. I told y'all there's eyes. There's eyes on you. The six of pentacles is under this, the, the hangman. Are y'all praying very hard? I feel like y'all praying praying or seeking counsel in some way you have the four of, of swords here under your ten of cups so y'all in counseling therapy or contemplating it i feel like y'all taking action on maybe it's connecting to your spirituality more i feel like there's a sense of you're you're calling your power back by connecting to self and connecting to an energy a, a most high or something bigger than you you know you're seeing things handing it over you know like how people say hand it over to god or you know whichever energy however you whatever you name the most high right um There's some potential, so some of you looking to, to, to go on a holiday of some sort or have a party, there is this sense of maybe looking forward to disconnecting. You find happiness in disconnecting. That goes back to the social media message that came through initially. Be the bigger person, all right? For some of you, you need to be the bigger person here. You are the leader. So wherever there is um, some kind of conflict or maybe disrespect, there's a level of disrespect, I'm feeling as if it's in the workplace. You don't need to spar. It doesn't need to be sparring and it doesn't need to be like peacocks. Ooh, look at my feathers are bigger. All right, be the bigger person and focus on yourself. All right, focus on your growth. You don't have anything to prove. You're in the position you're in because you have the necessaries. You have what it takes. So there's no need for you to prove yourself on anything. Also, I feel like some of y'all really need to take a break. You may be doing too much. Meditation is important here as well. This is a, this is definitely meditation and praying. And it also feels as if some of you run away from happiness, which is which might sound weird, but this this is how I'm feeling. It's almost as if something is too good to be true. Or why me? But why aren't you worthy of happiness? Or why aren't you worthy of something beautiful happening for you? What's the word? Thank you. Word of advice. Ha! Huh. You're ruler and it came out reverse. Leo, what's happening with the confidence? It came out reverse. So y'all's confidence is knocked in some way. Y'all don't feel like y'all selves. Why is that? And the lover is at the bottom. You see the two suns. And also these two people are, the, it's the same. This is the inner child. And it's funny because I was going to say to you, maybe it's your inner child that needs tending to, that needs some love, that needs to be expressed. And then I saw this card. And for me, these two children, this is them. This is them. It's the same two people. So some inner inner child healing has to happen here. Some expression going back to the inner child.
for some of you, it's just like work, 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 work. Or responsibilities, obligations. You don't have to do everything on your own either. Because I feel like you're truly supported. Like you have a strong support network. But it's about you being able to see it. Four swords. Give me one more card for their word of advice. Why is the sun reversed? And it's the death card and it came, oh, the justice card and it came out reverse. So things out of balance, out of whack. Y'all's energy is out of balance, it feels. It could be connected to, again, whatever this is. This is the first card, the strongest energy, the five of wands. So there's this sense, I feel like y'all feel on edge or feel like, again, there is a competition of sorts. There's some kind of sparring. Somebody rubs somebody the wrong way. Somebody thinks somebody isn't real. Some kind of catfish scenario, but potentially. And it's draining y'all's energy. It's like y'all out of alignment, off the path. Both these cards came out reverse. All right, nine and this is, yeah, well, they're both nine as well because the sun is 18. And what am I saying? Justice is 11. Okay, because I, I was looking at it upside down, but you see these numbers reflect each other. The XI. It's actually like this. This is how I'm seeing it. The sun reverse and justice reverse. Yeah, something out of balance. Y'all out of balance. You need to take a break. Praying, meditation, doing things that you love, going back to the inner child. I feel like right now things are a little heavy. All right, things are a little heavy. You've got this strength card here at the bottom. This is Leo's card. Um... Y'all don't feel it, y'all selves. 13, 13 on the counter. It's time to move Leo. This was the fine one of the final cards of Taurus as well. The chariot. Potentially in cancer season, you might start to see some, some change happening. But I feel like this could potentially be connected to mother energy. Whatever's happening. This could be a mother wound, a matriarchal wound from childhood. There's some kind of imbalance here within your, your inner feminine for some of you. There's just something out of balance. There's something that's unfair here. Somebody feels wronged. And it's not y'all. But there's some change coming. All right, there's some change. Give me one more card. It was 14, 14 when I looked at the timer. See, all the numbers are strong here. Give me one more card. Page of Cups. So there's some change coming. There's some healing happening here. Okay, there's some kind of healing. There's some, some kind of message. And I feel like it's a divine message. I don't feel necessarily this is from another person. Maybe your guides are saying to you, it's time to get up, it's time to, it's time to move, it's time to get things, it's time to shake things off, it's time to come back to yourself, it's time to be that leader, all right, it's time to know who you are. You got the six of cups and it came out reverse. So this is, I feel like this is connected to inner child. All right, I feel like whatever you are experiencing right now is connected to your inner child. Maybe memories coming up. Now, Pluto is retrograde. All right, and that's you will find because Pluto is all about regeneration, resurrection. Um, so maybe it's Pluto retrograde that's creating this, this for you. Creating this moment that you're in. 
All right, remember, it's just a moment. Cycles and phases, right? The Queen of Cups is here, are healing. So a lot of similar cards coming through. I feel like it feels as if the collective is going through a, a purge. There's definitely a timeline split, all right? People on completely different timelines. Um, people are seeing life completely different. Humanity is being tested. The collective consciousness is elevating. The earth energy is, is elevating. It's getting lighter. So if we don't lighten ourselves as well, we will, we will struggle. We will suffer. All right. Get your water intake up. One card for Leo. <clears throat> Three cards for Leo. First one is full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. Don't let pride get in your way. Second card is step out of your comfort step out of your comfort zone. Self node. And you have the end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn. So fire and earth. It makes me think about Uranus in Taurus. Uranus is currently in Taurus. Um, and when that planet is in Taurus, you tend to get a lot of shake up. All right, a lot of shake up. Um, earthquakes, volcanoes. Unexpected changes within the earth or anything connected to Taurus energy. So it could be money, values, anything you value, anything that makes you feel secure and, and stable and safe. And you have expect powerful change here at the bottom. That's so funny, new moon eclipse. I think the next new moon is an eclipse moon, actually. It will be a new moon in Taurus in a couple days. It's time to release negativity. Full moon is Scorpio at the top. And at the heart is you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. So I love that. I love that we are reminded that at the end of the day, it's not about what you see outside, it's what you feel. We cannot, we are the technology we are the expression of life of the creator of nature right the sun and the sun and the moon and the stars we are a physical embodiment of life of 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 everything of of this whole <laughs> dance that's happening so we really cannot Okay, let me change that. We really should not allow third party energies, whether this is media, government, however, to make you doubt what you feel to be true for you. Or make you doubt there's the sky is falling, but when you look outside, you see the trees and plants and the animals thriving. They're, we are an expression of them. They're an expression of us. All right, so I'm happy to see that the guys, your guys, my guys are showing you, you and your loved ones are safe. The end of a tough cycle approaches. All right, don't let pride get in your way. Step out of your comfort zone. All right, and I will go back to the fact that this Ten of Cups came out for you twice. Right, this beautiful balance. They're dancing. There's a rainbow serpent in the sky. They're dancing. They're they're happy. There's so rest assured that all is well and all will be well. All right, Leo, that's your message. Let me close off your message.
you've not subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate you hitting that subscribe button. Give me a, give me, yeah, I cannot speak because I've not done this for so long. So words don't mean anything to me, forgive me. Give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below. Let me know how you all are doing. If you wanna support the channel, um, my Patreon is set up. New moon, full moon readings, love readings. I wanna do a lot more on my Patreon. Um, thank you to those patrons who already support. So much love to y'all. And yeah, Leo, until your next message, may, may be awesome for you. All right, my loves, bye-bye. <laughs>